Greetings friends, welcome again to my game room. Today I'd like to talk to you about a little game here from West Africa, the Republic of the Gambia. And this game is called Choco. It's been referred to in some of the other videos here. It's a classic from that area. Now the Gambia is home to the Mandenka and the Fula tribes. It's uh, typical of a lot of five by five, two phase games. There's a placement phase and a move and capture phase. But there's some very unique aspects to the placement phase in particular. It's very intriguing. I'll have you take a look at the rules to the game right now, and then we'll come back later and talk a little bit more about it. The simple goal of Choco is to capture all 12 of your opponent's pegs. These are traditionally black and white, and players can choose their colors and a first player by whatever means they wish. The game begins with all 24 pegs off the board. Like so many of these small strategy games, there's a drop phase. In turn, each player will place a peg into any space on the board not already taken. However, this game has a feature called drop initiative. When the first player places the first peg, the first player has drop initiative. As long as the first player continues to place pegs, the second player must also do so. Any time after the first drop, the first player may decide to make a move instead. Then the second player has the option to move also. However, if the second player decides to drop, they now have the drop initiative, and the first player must also drop. Until the player with drop initiative makes a move, the other player must drop a peg also. Let's review movement and capture. Movement is orthogonal one space per turn, no diagonals. And the captures are short jumps, also orthogonal. No chain jumps are allowed, but once the target piece is jumped, it's immediately removed, and the jumping player must also remove another of the opponent's pegs anywhere on the board. So a jump results in two pieces being captured. After the last peg is placed on the board, no matter which player's peg it is, the second player gets to execute a move or a capture. When only one player has any pegs left in play, they win the game. It is possible to reach a point with both players having three pegs left, in which case the game is a draw and neither player wins. Choco. Now, as with so many of these traditional games, the earliest versions are played on the ground with little pockets and stones and that type of thing, uh, or scratch with chalk onto a, a bench or, or even a street and uh, played that way. But of course today there are commercial versions available uh, including this one. Now that drop initiative uh, concept takes some getting used to. We find that it's easiest to have some kind of token, maybe a coin or something that you can pass back and forth uh, to just keep track of who has a drop initiative. But after a while you get used to the idea because you're thinking ahead and you're thinking about your strategy uh, when the drop initiative changes hands again. So it's kind of an interesting way to, uh, to start the game. So the game is called Choco. Be sure and check it out at Red Hen Toys where you can get this Peg Pastimes version of the game. Um, as usual, I thank you for coming by the YouTube channel today. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check uh, the little bell there so that you'll get notified when I come out with a new episode. And uh, check out all the past episodes as well. We've got plenty of uh, ideas in the hopper here, but if you have any suggestions, uh, any games you'd like to have analyzed and taught, uh, by all means, let me know, and uh, we'll get to those eventually. And so I thank you very much for your support, and uh, as I always say sometimes, be sure to play every day.